Hey what is going on everyone this is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the top 10 must have iPhone photo editing apps of 2019. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. The first app for this video is called Enlight Quick Shot. This one is pretty amazing especially when it comes to editing photos where there is a sky involved. So once you open a picture from your camera roll you will see this page right here. You can go ahead and tap on magic and it will automatically enhance your picture. Then if you go to sky right here this is a pretty pretty cool feature. So you can see right here the sky is basically gray. And if you tap right here you can see how it will change that so it basically automatically finds where there's a sky in the picture and will customize its look so you can see right here you can add like different scenarios right there this is pretty pretty awesome now, it has a bunch of like free filters right here free skies that you can add and of course there are a few paid ones as well so if you want to get these extra ones you will have to pay for that but you have a bunch here that are free so once you have done that just click right there and you're good to go then of course you will also have different filters that you can apply right here and you can set the amount of the filter with that slider and then if you go to effects you can also add different effects here to the picture and of course adjust the amount of the effect with the slider right there. The second app for the video is called Polar. This one is pretty cool as well so it has a ton of effects that you can apply to your picture. So if you go to effects right here you have for example the reflect effect right here you can see it's pretty pretty awesome and then you will also have like pixelate right here you can see right there you can add that pixelate and of course if you tap right here it will show the slider where you can set the pixelation amount right there and click there once you're done then you can also edit the light right here so you can see from the exposure to the contrast everything can be adjusted here just tap on the effect that you want to adjust and then use the slider to adjust it then you will have also color you can add different tints you can change the temperature of the color also change the vibration and the serration of the color and then you have here effects so different effects that you can add right here to the picture of course the app also has a few paid features that you will have to pay for but mainly those are free most of them are are free. The next app for the video is called Visionist and this one is pretty cool as well. So once you open a picture you will have here the option to crop the picture. Then you can just basically slide here to go to the different effects that you can add to your picture. So there are a few free effects and a few paid ones as well. So you can see right there how it will basically turn your pictures into art. It's really really awesome. And if you tap that button right there you can adjust the strength of these effects that you add to your pictures and of course tap the check mark right there to apply the filter and then if you tap right here you can go ahead and change between different light like hard soft and also luminosity and full light right there that's pretty cool and if you tap right here you can go ahead and change like add more abstract less abstract anything you want so it's pretty pretty awesome you can see basically turns any picture into art that's really cool if you tap right here then it will give you the option to save the picture on the camera roll of your device Next up is Snapseed. This one is from Google and it's pretty cool. It has a bunch of tools to customize your pictures. Now once you open a picture you will have the option here to switch between different filters that you can add to your pictures. You can see here the amount of filters is really really amazing. You will have quite a few here. Then of course tap the check mark right there once you're done. And when you go to tools right here you can find a ton of tools that allow you to customize your pictures. Like you can tune the image, you can crop it, you can rotate the image, you can go ahead and basically just customize the pictures any way you like. So if you go for example to tune image right here we'll have the option to change the brightness. You can see if I just slide right there I can go ahead and change the brightness of the photo. Let's go ahead and tap right here. So from the brightness I can change the contrast and once again just slide the finger like this on the picture. As you can see at the top right there you can change the contrast simply by swiping your finger and of course you can change the tools right here. 
The next app for the video is called Lens Distortion and this one allows you to add different like lens flares to your picture. So once you open a picture, you can see here classic lights. So you will have like these classic lens lights that you can add to your picture. That's really, really awesome. If you go right here, you can also change like in different to different, the different like kind of lights. So you will have a few here. So just go ahead and swipe through them and you can add any of them to your pictures. Just tap right there and you're done. So that's really, really awesome. So once you have added one, you can go ahead and also change the blur, change the intensity right there, the brightness. You can change like how much of the effect will apply onto the picture with the slider right here and you can also change the contrast the serration color you can flip the image all that stuff can be done from the menu right here the next app is called blur photo and it allows you to apply different blurs to different like parts of the picture so once you have selected your picture you will have the option right here to crop the picture any way you like then just tap the check mark right there once you're done so if you tap on the blur right here then you will be able to go ahead and apply blur to the picture so you just go ahead drag your finger and you can blur out any part of the picture that you want just like this of course you can change the size here of the brush with that slider so just apply the filter the blur basically to any part you want and then if you go to effects right here you can change the style of the blur so you will have different like kind of effects right here that allow you to change the you can see here pixelated you can change the like the shape of the blur right there then you can of course invert it you can zoom in and of course you can go ahead and tap on blur if you want to undo everything that you have done then click the check mark and you're good to go you want to add text to the picture you can just tap right here to go ahead and add any text that you want to your picture that's a really cool feature as well and of course you can also add any emoji that you want on the pictures that you're editing the next app for the video is called darkroom this one has a ton of features as well first of all you can go ahead and crop your picture if you tap right here it will take you to like different filters that you can use of course there are paid ones but there are a ton of free ones as well you want to add a filter of course you can just go ahead and switch between them and you will have like different kind of filters right here different categories but as you can see these are paid and you will only have those at the beginning which are free but of course there are a few ones here that are free and they are pretty pretty cool so if you tap right here then you can go ahead and adjust the other things like the brightness the highlights shadow serration temperature of the color all that stuff can be done from here if you go right here then you will be able to change the curve and then if you tap right here you can go ahead and change the colors of the picture so that's really really great as well so you want to frame it you can do it from here so you can see right there you can add frames to your pictures and make them look really really different so that's really cool darkroom a pretty cool app with a ton of features the next app is called blend editor and this one allows you to blend two pictures together so you just go ahead and select your two pictures that you want to choose and blend together then you can just tap on one of them to adjust them so from here you can adjust your picture so you can see right here you can basically resize it rotate it you can do everything you want with it and you can see right here you can go ahead and switch to the other picture as well so that's really really cool if you tap on the next button then you can go ahead and change here how each picture looks so basically what you can do here change the transparency of each picture you tap right there to switch to the other picture and of course you can also add right here like different effects to each picture so basically what you have to do is just go ahead edit one picture then just tap the arrows when you're ready to switch to the other picture and make sure you can edit it from here so that's really really cool of course if you tap on the share button right here it will give you the option to save the picture to the camera roll of your device the next app for the video is called photon and this one is pretty cool as it allows you to edit your pictures and also add different text to the pictures that you're editing so once you open a picture you will see right here a few filters that you can apply to your pictures it looks pretty pretty cool the filters are really amazing you can also go ahead and tap right there to crop the picture any way you like 
if you if you're done with this just click done right there and from here then you can go ahead tap anywhere on the picture tap add text and right here you can go ahead and add any text you want to your pictures you can go ahead and change the font from here so basically just choose any font you want you have different presets right here so it's like you can enter the date of the picture right there enter the text and then you can also enter different symbols right here to the text and then just click done and you can go ahead and basically add this text to your pictures then if you tap on the text from here you can change the text you can change the font the style the size you can tilt and also move the text anywhere you want on the picture this is really really cool especially editing pictures for your social media and last but not least is an app called prisma this one allows you to turn your pictures into art once you have loaded a picture from your camera roll you will find here like different effects that you can apply to your picture and basically it will turn any normal picture into art you can see how cool this looks now you have here a bunch of free filters that you can add and of course there are a few paid ones but you will have a ton here that are free if you tap right here on this button then you can go ahead and change like the exposure the contrast the brightness the duration everything for the picture from here and make it look how you want it once you're done just click the check mark right there and you're good to go now you can go ahead and save this picture to the camera roll of your device and basically turn any like simple picture into a picture that looks just like an artwork so that is it for this video guys these are my top 10 must have photo editing apps for 2019 these apps are free a few of them have paid features but you will find a ton of free features as well if you want to get these apps on your device make sure you check out the comment section i will leave there all the links on the pinned comment i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this also don't forget to leave a like and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one